My Lords, uh, I believe we should apply very stringent tests to any new legislation, particularly when criminal offences are created. There needs to be clear evidence of a problem. Legislation has to be necessary to deal with the problem. The drafting must be clear and unambiguous, and the new law must avoid other harms. My Lords, I believe that this bill does not pass any of these tests, but I will be concentrating my remarks only on the first test, namely the evidence base for the bill. Now, the government have certainly tried to be evidence-based in their LBGT policies. In 2015, they commissioned an evidence review by the National Institute for Economic and Social Research, and that found that the evidence base for an effective assessment of inequality and relative disadvantage by sexual orientation and gender identity is deficient and has major gaps. The government then organized a national LGBT survey in 2017, which got a lot of responses. The survey found that a very small proportion, 5%, had been offered conversion therapy, therapy and an even smaller proportion had actually undergone it, 2%. Now, the uh, respondents were a self-selected sample, which has obvious problems. And the survey did not define what con conversion therapy was, a problem that we continue to face with this bill. Nor did it define what constituted being offered conversion therapy. And I think the best we can say about uh, this survey is that it is interesting. Uh, I must also refer to uh, findings by uh, a survey carried by the Ozan Foundation in 2020 because I anticipated that some neighbour lords might refer to this. Now that reported some startling findings, including that conversion therapies had included beatings and rape, which are of course already criminal offences. Freedom of information requests to police forces have unearthed not a single documented case of violent conversion therapy in the last five years. Like the other reports, it suffered from many methodolo methodological problems, including self-selection, incomplete reporting, and <coughs> retrospective reporting. It was demographically, demographically unrepresentative, and it quite simply does not constitute robust evidence. My Lords, I do not believe there is a sound evidence basis for the existence of a conversion therapy problem, let alone the harms that might be associated with it. The fact that LGBT, LGBT lobbyists assert that there is a problem does not constitute evidence upon which re responsible legislators can rely.